Raise your hand if you're a student. You're in the right place today. As hard as it is, uh, we have to go on. And yesterday was a sad day, uh, the worst nightmare in so many ways. But coming back, I appreciate your courage to be here because this is the right place. And as Chief Sears said, what happened yesterday was an isolated incident. And we're going to do everything in our power to keep you safe. Through it together. Uh, it was a tragic situation yesterday when two students leaving class were shot. Uh, one uh, died at the scene. One was taken to UC Davis Med Center. And the third student, according to a report from Sacramento uh, Police Department, was raised. This is not the kind of thing typically happens in city. We are, to repeat what Michael Poindexter just said, we are a safe college, we are a safe campus. This was an incident that happened on, really on the perimeter of, of the campus um, and stayed in that area. As we moved into a lockdown situation, it was because we weren't sure exactly what was going on, and our intent was to try to keep our community as safe as we possibly could under the circumstances. The key is communication. Also, we all have to take responsibility for our own safety. We've been very fortunate in Los Rios to have very few major incidents like this. And that's because of all of you, that you take an active role in your own safety. You attend workshops. Uh, many of you have asked me many questions today as far as what can we do? What should I do? If we don't see police, how do we know anything is going on? The key is to take ownership of that. Educate yourself on what you can do. Talk to your police. Contact me and we'll have officers come do workshops for you. We work with a variety of people throughout the district and student services, counseling, to work with you so we can give you productive information so that you know what to do in any given situation. The key is that we need to hear from you. So that's what we're looking forward to.